Hello, so today's video is going to be about differentiating uh, the natural logarithm function, uh, but when we insert the absolute value of x into that logarithm. So you want to differentiate the log of the absolute value of x in this video. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a chain rule problem, essentially, uh, because we're taking a function of a function of x, and uh, the function that we're starting with here is the natural log, and the function inside the natural log is this modulus function. Uh, so that's the video, uh, that's, that's the plan for this video. So to do this, as I said, it's gonna be a chain rule problem. So to differentiate this, this is gonna be a case of differentiating uh, the natural log of the modulus of x with respect to the modulus of x, and then multiplying that by the derivative of the modulus of x uh, with respect to the variable x. So we know that when we differentiate the natural logarithm function, that gives us one over the variable. So that here must be just one over the modulus of x like so. Uh, so that's the first part of the derivative done. The second part is gonna be this derivative of the modulus of x with respect to x. So we've actually done this in a previous video and what we got was the modulus of x over x. And therefore, what we can see when we times these two fractions together is that these just cancel out and we get one over x like that. So actually, indeed, what we get is we get the differentiating uh, the natural log of the modulus of x gives us one over x. So it actually gives us the same result as when we differentiated just the natural logarithm of x without the uh, taking the modulus of x. We also got this one over x too. Um, and of course, this function there is defined for x greater than zero because uh, the natural logarithm is only defined for values of x greater than zero. Um, and so therefore, this uh, natural logarithm of the modulus of x is actually defined um, for all real values of x apart from zero. Um, obviously, you can't take uh, a natural log of zero. That's not defined. And obviously, your result here, one over zero, is not defined too. Um, so that's just kind of a key, uh, a key thing to note with these uh, natural logarithm derivatives. Um, so yeah, we get this result here. So taking the natural log of the modulus of x is one over x. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, taking the derivative of that function is one over x, and also taking the derivative of this natural log of just the variable x also gives us one over x.